Hey kids, Mr. Glenn here. Hope you are well. We are going to be looking at MakeCode and the beginner skill map in MakeCode to get to our base level of understanding of how the components within a game all work with each other and create a beautiful story or a very playable game. So what we're going to do is just go over to the beginner skill map and have a look at where this is, what we do in there, and the three levels and games that we all strive to earn the trophy from at the end. So let's go and take a look over at make code itself. Here we are into make code. I think some of us already been in here. We go up to the top left hand corner, the top right hand corner, sorry, and we go and sign in. Once you sign in, all your projects will be saved and your progress will be saved as well. The beginner skill map is here. It looks like uh, the map that you see in Zelda or the map that you see in uh, Mario, the original Mario. So <clears throat> when we go over here, it'll open up our skill map. And we've got three main trophies. You can see that I've, I've gone through this already. These actually turn into uh, ticks once you've hit the uh, jigsaw piece. It looks like a yellow jigsaw piece. And you'll see a, all these are jigsaw pieces and these are padlocks. In order to unlock the padlocks, you've got to go and complete the missions along the pathway to earn the trophy. When you win a trophy, you get a certificate, okay? So we can go and claim our reward. You can go and claim your reward like this. And then in here, you can go and write your name onto this PDF. And you can take a screenshot if you want and go and send it away and keep it somewhere. Or you can print it out and put it on your fridge if you want. That's a good idea, right? So I'm gonna go and just show you what it looks like all the way to the end. So if I go into here, which is the first one, we're gonna go and take a look and then I'm gonna go and let you have a go yourselves. So I'm gonna go and restart. I'm gonna go and restart from a fresh. And you can see we're going to make a, a greeting card and it says here, happy birthday with some hand drawn letters. Are you ready to make a greeting card for your friends and family? Follow these quick steps and you'll have one in no time. I wanna point out Immersive Reader. The Immersive Reader is outstanding. What this does is it reads the page for you and you can turn it into any language. So when you see this book and microphone uh, speaker symbol, it says, are you ready to make greeting cards for your friends and family? Follow these quick steps and you'll have one in no time. Okay. At the top here, you've got three areas. Okay. You've got text preferences. So you can change the size of the text. You can change the color of the text. So you can change the background so that it's maybe a little bit easy to read. So you can it, put it into dark mode if you want to put it into dark mode. You've then got the middle one, which is your grammar options in there, um, and you can change it into syllables. So if you're not sure how things actually go together, family, okay? So they put the dots in between the um, syllables for you. You can also turn on different colors for verbs, adjectives, and nouns. But my favorite thing is in the book at the end, which I think hopefully my screen is just out the way here you can go and choose a language now when i get the drop down menu it'll go behind me but in here i'm going to go and choose so you can see that just at the top here i've got afrikaans but if i just roll down i can change this into japanese just going to show you real quick that i can turn this into japanese for us here and then it'll change uh, the whole document for us into japanese and it will also speak in that language as well okay so this is a good way to know that you've always got help. So I'm gonna hit okay. I'm just gonna show you what the, um, what the place looks like. The workspace is here. You, and here you've got an on start container. So this is an, a, a called a container. And we put things inside here and it snaps together like Lego. Your instructions over here at the top, uh, you can move them more or less out of the way. 
and these are color coded so they match the colors here now when you're in the tutorials in the beginner map like this you only have a set number of options when you go into a proper tutorial later on you'll get the full amount of options in here there are quite a number and they spread all the way down this column here so so that we <laughs> we are not bamboozled by loads of options in here they only give you these and this one here is gray so i can go into the scene here and you can see that it is gray and it says set, set background image two and it's got a wee um a, a wee square here so a set background image two and you pull things out and snap them into here okay then it tells you what to do next okay and you've also got a light bulb at the end that shows you what your blocks should actually look like okay so just above me okay you can actually see that um you can actually see that this is the help is actually behind me okay so if i just move this out of the way you can see that just where my face was it gives you a little video as to what um is actually um there okay on the other side you've got a, a console and when i go and change this you'll notice that the console changes at the same time so it told me to go into the gallery and choose a, a birthday card i'm going to go and put happy birthday on here in a second i can do that with my text i can do that with my handwriting I can do whatever i want okay with different colors as I put this in here, this console will change automatically like this. So it's not like Scratch. You may have used Scratch before with block-based coding, and you kind of have to hit the green button to see if it works or not, and then debug your code based on if it's working or not. Here you can actually see if it's working or not, which I think is um, a step up. So in here, you've also got some options here. So you can take a screenshot, you can go full screen mode if you want and see how the game works and how it looks and how it plays. And you've got sound on and off and then you've got a menu in here to show you what things are on and off itself okay then of course we hit next and as we hit next we go to the third one the fourth one fifth sixth however many you are using in these uh, instructions in these beginner skill maps okay so that's the introduction in the next set of videos we're going to show you um, how everything goes together okay so Look forward to seeing you on the next clip.